What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Having a Bear Bams. Today we're going to be drinking Moodoo Doll. It is a King Cake inspired Imperial Stout coming to you from Blair No Snow Brewery. <clears throat> this is brewed with um, cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla, and lemon zest. And it's coming in about 10.7%. And if you don't know what a king cake is, king cake is something you normally get served during Mardi Gras uh, down in New Orleans. Um, it resembles, uh, it kind of looks like a giant donut. I, I've had it once before. I, um, I apologize to everybody down in Louisiana. I can't remember the texture or what it was, but it does resemble a giant donut. Um, and they dust it with color, you know, the colors of New Orleans, uh, which going to be gold, purples, the uh, royal colors, you know, green, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's delicious. <clears throat> From what I remember, it is it's a delicious cake. So, if you happen to be down in Mardi Gras, get it. Um, I'm pretty sure you might be able to get it even off season because I mean, New Orleans is uh, it's a it's a tourist destination. So you probably could get it at, at certain spots. They might serve it not all year round, but you probably get it uh, you know earlier and probably later than uh, Mardi Gras. All right, well. With all my rambling out of the way, let's crack this home bitch open. Oh God, I've been waiting for this one. This actually been this has been sitting in the fridge for uh, at least a week now. I picked this up over at the Thirsty Quaker, um, and again, Thirsty Quaker, dude. Um, I'm sorry, not dude. Well, Thirsty Quaker, love you guys. You guys have, uh, it's not a, a giant selection, but you guys have a really, an amazing selection of beers to try from. A lot of local Jersey stuff. They do have a lot of eight uh, out-of-state stuff. I remember the Thirsty Quaker used to sell a lot of uh, home brewing kits and stuff like that. I didn't see any of that stuff when I was down there. It, it probably wasn't that big of a fad in Jersey City, um, even though a lot of people do like drinking beer. Um, it is, uh, it takes a special kind of person and a special technique to actually make beer. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, again, Thirsty Quaker, dude, uh, Thirsty Quaker, we do appreciate you. Um, and we got to make it down there more often, hopefully sooner than later. Well, we're all out of the way. Cheers, you silly bastards. Ooh. This smells interesting. Huh. I remember what a king cake tastes like. <laughs> wow. I'm also feeling a lot of other stuff, like I, uh, a lot of other memories just creeping back up after tasting this. This is very, oh. Damn, Belair, no story. You guys, did, I, this might be the second or third time you guys done this to me. <laughs> wow, that's really good. It's not overly sweet. It is sweet, but it's not overly sweet. But it has, I don't know, for me, there's something there that uh, it's literally just triggering like memories in the back of my head that I'm trying to bring up right now that it's, you, uh, you know what I mean. Wow, it's good. This is really, really, oh shit, it's really good. Hmm. If you can find it, pick it up. Um, if you're a stout drinker, you're, you'll probably really enjoy this. Um, if you're not a stout drinker, I'm not going to say you will enjoy this. You might, you might not, but I mean, listen, if you can get a single, pick it up, have it, share it with somebody. Who knows? You might know somebody that if you don't like it, they might. And this is be something that they probably wanted to find. This is really, really good. I recommend this. This is actually a, uh, a very tasty brew. Hell yeah. <clears throat> All right, well, I'm going to conclude this episode of Having a Bear Bams. And always remember, all beer is good bear. Cheers.